what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome back to the next video in my PL 300 test prep series so today we're going to be talking about disabling the load on a table and so this is done when you're combining tables together and you want to essentially minimize your data model and so we're going to be talking about append and merge and it's going to be very brief because I've already discussed it several times but I'll put a link in the description for a more in-depth understanding of how to merge queries together so we're going to start in the Power Query let's go ahead and get started so here we are inside the Power Query and let's take a look at appending tables together once again I'm just going to do this very briefly because I've already talked about it in other videos so when you're appending data together this is when you have the same column names and the same data types with inside of a table but it has different information with inside of it and so this first table we can see we have name carrier and average cost and the carrier here is AT&T in our second table we have essentially the same type of information we have name carrier and average cost with the difference being this carrier Verizon and so as we go to append tables together appending is when you have the same column names the same data types just different information and you want to combine them together it's essentially like a union inside of SQL and so what we're going to do is we're going to append these queries together or these tables together and when you do this it is going to give you two options you can either append them into a table that's existing or you can append them into a new table we're gonna append them into a new table so you get an understanding of how this works so I'm gonna go up here to my home tab and then I'm gonna to go to this append queries option inside the combine section and so if you click the drop down arrow right here it's going to give you an option to append the queries as a new table or a new query and so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to select append queries as new and it's going to ask me what tables that I want to append and so it's going to be my append one and my append two table so when I click OK what you're going to notice is it's going to create a new table here it's called append one or we're going to go ahead and rename this and notice that all of the information is now available from both tables and so what this does is it creates a new table but in our data model if we don't disable the load on the original tables it's going to bring all three tables in together and so I'm just going to rename this here append new and so essentially what you want to do is you want to go to the table the original tables you want to right click and we have two different options include import refresh which we definitely want to do we want to make sure that the data is able to refresh but we can disable the load by clicking on the enable load option what you're going to see is it now italicizes the name of the table and so what this does is it disables the load on the original tables and the only table that's going to be loaded into the Power BI desktop is this append new option the same is true if you complete a merge and so if I go to my merge one table you'll notice that we have the name the carrier and in this case we have the customer ID which is going to be our key column to merge the two tables together in the second table I have that customer ID and the average cost and so when you combine these tables together I'm going to select the table I'm going to go up here to the merge queries option once again we're going to merge these queries as new it's going to create a new table with the merged information so as I select merge queries as new we're going to choose the tables that we're going to combine together and once again a query is a table and so merge one and merge two are the two tables I'm going to select the key column between both of the tables 
and we're now going to be able to create a new table that has all of the information with inside of it. So as we expand this table by clicking this option right here, we're going to expand the table information. It allows me to bring back the information from the second table. Once again, we don't need to include customer ID because it's already in the original table and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So I now have all of the merged information together with inside of this one table. But once again, as we're loading this into the Power BI desktop, if I do not disable the load on these original tables, all three tables will now be included in my data model. And so we're going to right click on the merge one and we're going to disable the load and we're going to disable the load on the other original table and we'll name this merge new. So what happens now is as I hit close and apply, it is only going to bring in those new tables. So by disabling the load on the original tables, it allows the report to still refresh from the underlying data and this can be done from a variety of different data sources but the only tables that are loaded are the two new tables and so you'll see in the fields pane on the right hand side that the two tables that are actually in my Power BI desktop are just the new tables here and so that is the the purpose of disabling the load is it still allows that information to be combined but we're minimizing our data model size by disabling the load on the original tables. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. So the question says that we have two Azure SQL databases and they contain the same tables and columns and so right off the top because they contain the same tables and columns the first thought in your head should be append. Because if it's the same tables, the same columns, the same data, just essentially different information, then we want to append them together into a first table. It says for each database you create a query that retrieves the data from the table name customer. So essentially we have two tables, one from each database, that both have customer data in them and we want to combine them together. So same table columns, same data types and it says we need to combine the customer tables into a single table. That's the requirement here. It says the solution must minimize the size of the data model. So this is a key indicator here minimizing the size of the data model, that's going to tell us that we're going to need to minimize how many tables are actually in this report. And so you should be thinking when you see minimize the size of the data model that we're probably going to disable the load. And it also needs to support a scheduled refresh. This is the other key part of this question. So remember there were two options to inc include in the report refresh and so we want to include the refresh, we want it to be able to pull in the latest data and so as we look at this question we have to kind of determine this step by step what we're going to do. And so as we look at the first option here we can go ahead and get rid of merge queries because merging queries is when you have two different tables and you're going to combine them together using that key column. It's told us that we have the same tables and same columns so our thought is that we're going to append them in some way. And so let's start off by choosing append queries. So if that's our first selection we now move on to the second part of the question. It says the action to perform on the original two queries. So remember a query is a table. So it's asking us what do we want to do on the original two tables. 
if we delete the queries, we've essentially removed the link between the tables. And so if we delete the original two queries, it's going to break our refresh, it's going to break our tables, and they're not going to be able to function properly. So let's take a look at that real quick. If I delete the original append, so notice it says when I go to delete it, that the query append one cannot be deleted because it's referenced by another query. So there's what's known as a dependency. If you go to the view tab up here at the top and go to query dependencies, you'll get a better understanding of how this works. And so notice that append one and append two, as I brought those table in, they are now linked to the append new table. The same thing is true for my merge tables. Both of these have a dependency to the merge new. So you cannot just delete the original tables because it will break the query. And so understanding that anytime you combine data using an append or a merge, it's going to create a query dependency. So let's go back to our question now. So we've already kind of decided we're gonna to try to use this append queries as our first selection. We know now that we cannot delete the queries. That is not an option. The other part down here at the bottom, duplicating the queries. So if we duplicate the queries, that's going to create more tables. And remember, the question says we must minimize the size of the data model. So if we duplicate the queries, it's gonna make it even bigger so that selection is now invalid. As we look at the final two, it says disable including the query in report refresh. So if we look at this one right here, disable including the query in report refresh. Well, the other parameter here that we have to recognize is that it says support scheduled refresh in Power BI. So if we disable the report refresh, it's not going to be able to give us the latest data here. And so that now eliminates this part of the second question. And so our choice, the only one that is viable, is disable the load to the data model. But if we disable the load without creating append queries, so if we just appended these together and we disable the load, they're not going to load into the Power BI desktop. And so this now changes our answer. So this is no longer correct because if we disable the load on the tables, they're not going to appear in Power BI. And so the correct answer would be append queries as new and disabling the load to the query on the data model. I hope that makes sense. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.